Praise the Lord. This is Bishop Ernest Johnson. Welcome to this broadcast, special broadcast of Jesus is the Answer. And on today's broadcast, we're dealing about what is happening to the rapper and business mongrel P. Diddy. What's happening to him? Amen. And what does that have to do with the saints? What does that have to do with the church? What does that, where does that put us with Bible prophecy? And so in the last broadcast, we were in Revelation chapter 16, when it talks about the harlot and how she is presenting abominations and things of that nature. And so what we're dealing with, what we're uncovering here is that P. Diddy is, you know, he's allegedly uh, slept with all these kids and, and slept with these uh, major rappers and, and uh, you know, so much stuff. They got tapes, they got so many different things and federal indictments and all these different things. But what does that mean to us? What does that mean to the saints of God? Where does that fit in prophecy? So Revelation chapter 17 kind of tells us that, amen, that it's a woman of harlotry, the spirit of harlotry and abomination and fornication will, uh, will drown and saturate the earth. Right now we have 7 billion people on the face of the earth which means the earth is reproducing and people are populating, reproducing and multiplying. And because the earth's resources are so limited and there's so many people, homelessness is increasing. Amen. People have gotten into the financial situation, put houses where you can't even afford them. And now people are homeless. There's so many. There's over 100 and 50,000 homeless people in Los Angeles alone sleeping in tents, families sleeping in tents that cannot afford to live in a house. And we're just sitting here just looking at it like, so what? You know, those that got a house, bless you. Those that don't, too bad. But now you see all the snatch and grabs. You see groups of people, I mean, almost 30, 40 people went and then they're, they're attacking all the 7-Elevens, going in there getting food. They're getting food, snacks, and sodas, and money, and, and lottery tickets, and all of these different things are taking place because people are desperate. People are getting desperate, and famine is hitting the land, and there's so many people coming into the United States from other countries because people are poor and they have need. Amen. And so now is the time, if you're going to be saved, you got to be sure enough saved. If you're going to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, you got to serve him for real. Because the last days are coming. We are at the edge of the great tribulation. We're at the edge of the tribulation. Tribulation ain't coming. The tribulation is here. And we're seeing days like we've never seen before in our lives. And the world is out of control. It's a no man's land. And only if you are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm not even going to tell you to serve God for a better life or get rich and all this other stuff. Serve God and be prepared to go home. Amen. Be prepared to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Because even saints are dying now. Saints are dying by the groves and People are killing Christians and they're breaking, going in churches, killing the pastors and pastors are killing each other and all kinds of crazy, crazy things that are happening right now. But he said, I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. So I want to continue the lesson. What does P. Diddy and what does, what, what is happening with him or what is being caused to happen with him? What does that have to do with us? What does it have to do with you if you are born again, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled child of God? What does it have to do? How is it going to affect the church? How is it affecting the saints? Amen. It's affecting us. But it's praying time. It's time to push away the plate. It's time to fast. It's time to be there to feed and help and pray and help people make it through these hard times. The world is out of control. America is out of control. There are no places of peace. They're robbing people in Beverly Hills. Ladies walking the babies. They're robbing the ladies walking the babies. They're having home invasions like never before. And they're not fearing. Now, the homeowners have to arm themselves with guns and cameras and all kinds of things. 
and people are fearing for their life because the nation that forgets God. And now we have politicians back in the Midwest and the South saying, hey, we need prayer back in the schools. We got to put the fear of God back in our children. We need the Bible to now be taught back in the schools because there's no other answers other than the word of God. All these fake, phony, false religions are not uh, 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 giving people more responsibility. Only Jesus will shed abroad the love of God in your heart. Jesus will give you the heart to treat people right, to do people right. Oh my God, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Only Jesus can turn things around in your life. Amen. And give you love for the people that, that are dogging you out, the people that are, that are treating you like trash. Amen. You need the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for those that are watching right now. God, those that are afraid, those that are afraid, God, help them to keep their minds stayed on you because you said you will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. And Father, give them protection. Give them the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And have your way right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We're going to go to this important message. When we come back, we're going back to the book of Revelation. And, and the question is, what does P. Diddy, what is what's happening with P. Diddy? How is that, how is that playing in Bible prophecy? What does that have to do with Bible prophecy? Okay? We're going to look at that when we come back right after this important message. Don't touch that down because you definitely want to get into the Word and find out what's going on. All right? We'll be right back. Skip the trip to New Orleans for great Cajun cuisine. Sal's Gumbo brings the bayou to you. The best gumbo that you have ever tasted. Sal's Gumbo also specializes in scrumptious jambalaya, unmatchable buffalo wings, southern fried chicken, our own famous po'boy sandwich, and even our seafood broiler with corn, crab, sausage, and shrimp in our own spicy Cajun sauce like no other. Sal's Gumbo! <laughs> Off the hook. Sal's Gumbo's two locations in Long Beach that puts you right on Bourbon Street to give you that Bayou feel. Sal's Gumbo is located at 6148 Long Beach Boulevard and 4470 California Please in Long Beach, California. Call now for your to-go orders. 562-423-2113. Sal's Gumbo, where we bring the Bayou to you. Praise the Lord and welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Bishop Ernest Johnson. Amen. I want to welcome you to the broadcast of Jesus is the Answer right here on the GitaTV.org television network, Family Television with Power. I also want to remind you, get your free prayer cloth and anointed oil. Amen. It's absolutely free. You need it because there's demons are running rapid. And we prayed over these prayer cloths. And we'll send them out to you absolutely free. We'll even pay the postage. Our ministry is giving into you, sowing into you. If you want to get one of these prayer cloths and anointed oil, amen, call for prayer. The number's on your screen. And call there for prayer and tell them, uh, you know, Bishop said I can get the anointed oil and the prayer cloth. And our ministry will pray to send it out to you. We'll pay for that. We'll pay the postage to get it out to you, amen, so that you can get some help in your situation, amen. Get that absolutely free and call for prayer and let the prayer counselor agree with you, amen, in prayer for your miracle and your needs, amen. So we're going back to the book of Revelation. What is happening with Puff Daddy, amen, this is a worldwide issue that has become a world-renowned issue. What's happening with him and what does that have to do with end times? And Bible prophecy. So here in the book of Revelation chapter 17, we, uh, I'm, I'm going to go to verse number 3, and I'm going to reiterate what I talked about in the last broadcast. And so Revelation 17 and 3 says, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of, name, of the names of blasphemy, and having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple, and scarlet color, and beckoned with gold, and precious stones and pearls, 
having a golden cup in her hand. Now here's the golden cup. Amen. The golden cup means that this is precious and this is attractive, which means the things that are precious and attractive to the world today are filthy to God. They're filth and they're abominable. abominable. People always used to tell me sex sells. And that's true. Sex sells. People want to buy sex. They don't want to go see no clean family movies, no Christian movies. They want to see uh, killing, murdering, uh, adventure, a bunch of sex. Amen. And that's what people are paying for. And that's what they want. And so the scripture says here, uh, precious stones and have a golden cup in her hand. Okay, let me read what it says. Revelation 18 and 6. Amen. 18 and 6. I'm going to see what that says. Uh, hold, on, hold your thought there. It says, reward her. Even as she rewarded you, double unto her, uh, double unto her according to her works, and the cup which she has filled to her double. Okay, so let's talk about this this crazy wild uh, woman, uh, uh, this 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 wild woman of fornication, and the Bible says, and the woman was arrayed, verse number four, Revelation seventeen and four, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. And be decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. So it's not just fornication. It's not just standard, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend having sex. No, this is abomination. That means everything that is detestable in the sight of God. Everything God did not create us. For man for man, woman for woman. God did not create mankind to be sleeping with animals and all that kind of stuff. I remember many years ago, I was doing a movie and, and I was doing a, a film in Hollywood. And I walked in and one of the producers, a man had a horse uh, having intercourse with a woman. And I'm like, this is, this is wild and crazy. I don't want to see this stuff. I don't want my eyes to see any of these things. Do you understand what I'm saying? But it's wild that that is entertainment tonight. Entertainment. People getting killed is entertainment. People getting raped is entertainment. All this stuff that's happening with P. Diddy is entertainment to the world. All these alleged uh, 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 allegations coming against him. And now everybody thinks he's got a whole bunch of money. But you know what happened? <coughs> I heard that P. Diddy was smart. He has nothing in his name. So no matter how much they sue him, they may, able, they may not be able to get nothing. Okay? So the Bible says... And her hand was a cup full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. So it wasn't just fornication. It's filthy fornication and it's abomination, which is detestable in the sight of God and detestable in the human race. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I believe that Babylon is the United States. That's my thought. Babylon is the United States. This is Babylon. And the Bible says that Babylon has got to fall. And America, which was the strongest, richest country in the world, when they took prayer out of schools, they took the Bible out of schools back in the 60s. That same woman who petitioned to get prayer and the Bible out of schools got saved, turned her life to Jesus and tried to go back and reverse what she had done, and they killed her. Because the man don't want to be right by God. They don't want to be right by each other. Man is so wicked in his heart. The Bible says the heart is desperately wicked, and who can know it? Oh, my God. And the scripture says, And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints. Who are they coming after? The saints. That's why so many of these uh, crooked, hoe-hopping women are going after the pastors. So many of these uh, Pentecostal player men are going after the women pastors to do what? Get them caught up and get them involved, amen, so that they can bring them down so people cannot hear God's voice. And when you cannot hear God's voice, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to be damned. The Bible says in the book of Revelation that in the last days, many would believe the lie and be damned. What is the lie? Well, I don't need to get married. I don't believe in marriage no more. 
I, I, I'm just going to shack up with my girl and I'm going to live with my baby mama and, and I'm, I'm not going to get married. I, I, I don't want to get married. You know, you ask a man why he don't want to get married. Uh, my money ain't right. And how do I know this is the one? Well, you've been with her six years. You've got 13 kids. Hello, somebody. What do you mean? You don't know if this is the one. After 13 kids, you living with her. Y'all bought a house together. Y'all living together. Y'all paying bills together. You living like a married couple, but you're still in sin and fornicating and acting like it ain't nothing. If you die in your sin, the Bible says that one's going to go and one's going to stay. Y'all going to hell because you, you, you're living in fornication. And the Bible says, I saw a woman drunk with the blood of the saints. So who is this woman, this fornicating woman coming after? She's coming after the saints. Let me tell you something about P. Diddy that you didn't know. He was raised in the church. His mama raised him in the tongue-talking apostolic church. And why do you think Satan has allowed him to be in the position he's in so that when he falls, many, many, many lives will be affected. All of those that looked at him Preachers. will be affected. Preachers. Preachers are coming down. Leaders are coming down. Politicians with great names are coming down. They're being tarnished. And now people have no respect for leadership anymore. And when you smite the shepherd, the sheep scatter. Skip the trip to New Orleans for great Cajun cuisine. Sal's Gumbo brings the bayou to you. The best gumbo that you have ever tasted. Sal's Gumbo also specializes in scrumptious jambalaya, unmatchable buffalo wings, southern fried chicken, our own famous po' boy sandwich, and even our seafood broiler with corn, crab, sausage, and shrimp in our own spicy Cajun sauce like no other. Sal's Gumbo. <laughs> Off the hook. Sal's Gumbo's two locations in Long Beach that puts you right on Bourbon Street to give you that Bayou feel. Sal's Gumbo is located at 6148 Long Beach Boulevard and 4470 California Please in Long Beach, California. Call now for your to-go orders. 562-423-2113. Sal's Gumbo, where we bring the Bayou to you. You spike the shepherd, the sheep scatter. And so look what happened here. I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great wonder. Like, why is she got the blood of the saints? Because, you know what? The Lord just spoke to me. He said, son, he that will, he that will hinder will continue to hinder till he be taken out of the way. The Holy Ghost, you think is crazy, but the Holy Ghost is holding us up from being super destructive of ourselves. The prayers of the saints is holding back a lot of the demonic oppression, but Jesus, when he comes and he snatches us out of here and he takes us out of here, it's going to be really out of control. The only thing that's holding things back now is the saints of God because we're here and we're, we're holding up Satan's number one plan. And you know what his number one plan is? To take you to hell. He don't care about your money. He don't care about who you are. He don't care about your celebrity status. He wants you in hell burning with him because Satan has no way of repenting. He knows his end. He knows his destruction. And his goal is to take as many people with him to his destruction as he can. And that's why the Bible says many of you are going to believe the lie and be damned. Many of you are yielding to false doctrines. Many of you are yielding to false craziness. Amen. And you'll believe in the lie. And the Bible says you shall be damned. You're going to be damned to hell. Because you're rejecting Christ. A lot of Jews have rejected Christ. 
because he was not the Messiah they were looking for. Jesus came to liberate you, save you from sin, save you from bondage. But they were looking for somebody to come save them from the power of Roman rule. And the angel said unto me, why do you wonder? And I will tell you of the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and, and ten thorns. I mean, uh, uh, horns. And the beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit from hell. The beast is coming straight out of hell that's deceiving you with these false religions, false doctrines, false beliefs. The Bible says that things that are right to God are wrong to the world. Why do you think back in the days of Nero that he fed the Christians to the lions. And when he when we saw this movie, I saw this movie when I was in school, and while the lions was eating up the saints and the and the and the New Testament saints, they were singing songs of Zion until they couldn't sing it no more. And that's what drove Nero crazy. That Nero lost his mind and said, How could they be praising God while the lions are destroying them and eating them and tearing them into pieces? They served and praised God and worshiped God to the last breath. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. Perdition. Jesus said, None have I lost except the son of perdition, the devil. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and he is not and yet is. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are the seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen. And one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seventh that goeth into perdition, meaning demonic oppression, demonic control. And then ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings who have received no kingdom yet but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. I got to tell you this. We got one minute left. It says, these shall make war with the lamb. That means they're fighting against the church. They're fighting against Jesus. And the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and king of kings. And they that are with him are called the chosen and the faithful. Woo! We are the chosen and the faithful. God has chosen us to battle with him. He's chosen us to fight against Satan. And Satan and all these world powers are going to fight against the lamb slain before the foundation of the world is Jesus Christ. And guess what? He's going to whoop them. And we that are with him... We have the victory. It tells you here, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And no matter what comes against us, we're going to win. You're a winner. You're a winner. Amen. So join the winners. Here at Jesus is the answer. Become a partner. Become a partner and sponsor this broadcast $25 a month. We need 1,000 of you just to sow a seed of $25 a month. Amen. Cash app is on the screen. You could go to our TV channel, gdotv.org, and sow the best seed you can, $25 or more per month. Amen. And help keep apostolic television going around the world. Amen. We love you. God bless you. We're praying for you and ask you to pray for us. Amen. And so what's happening with Diddy now? He's being controlled by the woman of purple. And all this... Stuff is being exposed, but what's happening with Denny is that Diddy, P. Diddy's in the public, but it's still going on in some of your homes and in some of your lives. What's the key word? Repent, for the kingdom of God 
is at hand. God bless you. We love you. Remember, call for prayer. And no matter what your problems are, Jesus is the answer. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.